Okay, shalom, shalom, kwam yasha Allah, koholoyim la, yahawa bashim yawashai, bahashim, rakahakodash, double honors to our apostles, and elders of great millstone who do rule well. Led by the Spirit, taught us this beautiful truth, and just want to say the water toward the Akim and Akwap. That's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yawashai to the best of their ability. This is Yahanan Nawaf. It's coming at you with another quick lesson and praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And just want to, you know, do another quick little hit on uh, the fall of America, uh, uh, seeing the fall of our enemies. Um, now, this is your Navy Digital Ambassador right here. You know, um, if you're familiar with. Uh, this dude was doing, um, you know, his little TikTok videos and stuff like that. But, um, you know, you know, this is a drag queen, right? But he's, you know, on the on the um, Navy ship doing drag shows and, and all kinds of shit. So you got the Army veteran um, would tell Congress that drag queens, DEI, and the surge of leftist values in the military are making the U.S. weaker and leading to wrong people leading combat. See. And they let you know, man, just how far this place is falling. And um, see, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, Esau. You know, and Joe Biden, he's a goddamn freak show, man. Ever since he's been in there, it's been nothing but freak show. Freakism. <laughs> all these, you know, the, the, the freaks come out at night getting all these positions, man. And all these um, major positions man you know what i'm saying where it's not it's no seriousness to to these positions no more you know it's just you know it's all about let's be diverse and that shit is not working you know that that's silly you know you can't hire the most qualified person for a job because of what they're calling diversity you know you don't want no goddamn um chef getting a job at the mechanic shop, over, <laughs> you know, but you know, just because of certain things, certain attributes, you can't discriminate. You, so this is Esau's kingdom. Well, let's get a little bit of this. Um, this is Daily Mail. The Army Ranger veteran William Thibbo is set to urge Congress to scrap the U.S. military diversity targets, saying they put the wrong people into combat leadership roles and leave units less able to win wars. You know, you're not winning no more wars, man. America is through. This place is through, man. It's out of here. Out of here. It says Thimbo, a veteran of the U.S. anti-terror um, campaigns of the 2000s, will on Thursday tell lawmakers that the military needs to be kept apart from the politics and ideologies of our time. He told DailyMail.com ahead of the session. He takes aim at diversity, equity, and inclusion. That's the DEI hookup I've been seeing. They've been talking about that quite a bit on the news as of late. It says it targets that he blames for problems in the U.S. Air Force and West Point Military um, Academy, as well as critical race theory and drag queen shows on military bases. See, but they, they don't want that critical race theory being taught. See, that critical race theory, it makes them look like shit. So they don't want that being taught, you know, so. You know that, that they don't want slavery being taught. They don't want you to know how they actually got America, but yet and still. I guess if critical race theory is being taught, so to speak, you know, a lot of these, they, you know, a lot of these Jakes or um, Israelites won't join the military because it's more Israelites that's joining the military than it is the so-called white man. The so-called white man is not joining the military. <laughs> He's not joining the military, but the so-called blacks, and Hispanics and Native Americans are. You see? He says, uh, let's see here. If those factors aren't relevant to um, pers a person's ability to do a job, whether a cook or infantryman or tank driver, they shouldn't be considered because it allows in an ideology ideology that's not relevant to the, mili the military profession. He says um, he will prevent um, evidence to the House Subcommittee on National Security, the Border and Foreign Affairs at a hearing called the Risk of Progressive Ideologies in the U.S. Military. The hearing comes amid growing concerns among conservatives that the U.S. military is being weakened by left values. Showcased by Pentagon funding for drag queen shows. See, here's the here you go. You got the Pentagon funding drag shows, man. On, on, on a, what the fuck for? You know, 
they there to do the work of the military. If they want to get off work and go see a goddamn drag queen, and that's on them. But you're funding with the taxpayers' dollars that, you know what I'm saying, a damn, you paying the drag queens to go to these places, man, when it has nothing to do with the military at all, man. That shows you how far this place has fallen. But all praises to Yahweh by Sam Yahweh Sai for it, man. You know? That's that's why I, I you know I keep saying in these lessons like this. Keep on praying to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai for it. You should be saying a prayer right now <laughs> to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai that he will continue on tearing down the kingdom of Esau Edom, man. This, hey, this is the fall of Rome all over again. Okay, it says, um, let me get that part back again. It says, the hearing comes amid growing concerns among conservatives that the U.S. military is being weakened by leftist values showcased by, the, by Pentagon funding for drag shows and training workshops on white privilege and, and pronoun usage. The Department of Defense axed drag shows on, on bases last year following an outrage over the Navy's appointment of a non-binary drag queen whose stage name is Happy Daniels as his first digital ambassador. This is the dude right here. I remember seeing this too. I think we, um, matter of fact, I've done a lesson on this when it happened about a year or so back. The military has struggled to remain relevant to younger Americans. That's why I've done a lesson on that earlier today. Who are less interested in serving in uniform and would in many cases not meet the fitness standards. They don't meet them. They too goddamn fat. It says in faces of recruitment crisis after, after missing its 2023 target by 41,000. Now, mind you, Russia, I think they're, they're um, I seen um, something. I think it was yesterday where they talking about Russia, you know, they're they're they they're getting like 1500 recruits a day you know like it's just you know they're just young men are just going they're just going you know what i'm saying because they have pride in their country these people don't have no pride in america man it says um thimbo a married father of four who now heads the american military project at the claremont institute a conservative think tank said he was concerned that the u.s military was suffering as a result of progressive ideas but look at this dude man this, this guy's in, in control of, 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 of combat, man. He's got a side, he, he's more interested in his side drag queen job. This shit is retarded. It says an effort by the, the Air Force to diversify cadets ultimately left them short of pilots, he said. Racial quotas at West Point were also failing to improve the, the fighting ability to unite that emerged from the academy. Anytime you elevate something that's not relevant to the profession and not rele relevant to the competence of the institution, it go is going to dilute the quality and make it less effective, said Thimbo. A conservative legal action group in September sued West Point, saying the New York-based Academy of Admissions Practices discriminated against white applicants and violated the principle of equal protection in the U.S. Constitution Fifth Amendment. So that, that's where you have a lot of this... Um, you know, uh, there's a lot of, um, matter of fact, let me just get it real quick. I know I've been reading for a second. I haven't grabbed no scripture, but let's get, uh, that leads to a lot of division in this country, man. And, and of course, you know, with division, uh, it can't, uh, you know, a house can't stand. What's the lock here? This is Matthew 12 and 25. And it reads, and Yahweh side knew their thoughts and said unto them, every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? You know, the scriptures talked about can two walk together unless they be agreed. This place is damn near a civil war, man. They did they, they, it. it, it that's how fucked up this place is. When you, I mean, that's that's drastic when you really think about it. You can't recruit new members to the military. First off, all these countries are looking at you like you're stupid as hell. All these countries got nukes faced your way. None of these countries are liking you. Even your allies are starting to turn their backs on you. You're $34 trillion in debt. You're trying to send money to Ukraine. You're trying to fund Israel. You're trying to fund Taiwan. You're trying to fund all these different places. And it's got the place com completely divided. You got these damn immigrants coming in. You know, you got left, 
far left, you got right, far right, you got conservatives, you got liberals, you got all this different shit going on, and it, 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 it's a it's a smorgasbord of just chaos, and you can't you can't you can't stand like that, man. That's why that scripture says, "Can two walk together unless they be agreed?" If you walking with somebody, you like you know, I want to go left, you know, I know that the place is over here, and you got somebody with you that want to go right, they say, "I know the place is over here," you know. You're going to be arguing with them. And then eventually you're going to be like, well, man, fuck that. I'm not walking that way with you for nothing because I know it's over here. <laughs> and, you know, vice versa. You know, that's the same with a marriage, a woman and a, a man in a house. And they're arguing constantly. They're going to eventually separate. And then that's going to separate the entire family with the kids. Now, the kids has got to choose between the mom and the dad. A lot of the times that happens. You know, that, that, go, that goes for business. That's why when we come into this truth, you're supposed to be one accord with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in this one doctrine. Not no whole bunch of doctrines. That's why the apostles always tell us and all that unity camp shit, joining up with IUIC, going and, and, and having camp with Sakari, going and having camp with WFI, and going to have camp with all these different camps, and they don't believe in what you believe in. What's, you know, it, the shit is all over the place. It's confusion. Anyway. This is a beautiful thing, though, because it's definitely a lot of separation that's going on in the U.S., man. And, and, and we know, of course, that when the Lord, this is directly out of Yahweh's side's mouth, which the world equally calls Jesus. He said that, you know, a house cannot stand. This place cannot stand. It's, it's, it's doomed, basically, because they can't get along. So we know that by Yahweh's side falling, and it's not coming back, man. Kia says, um, President Joe Biden's administration defended the military act, um, academy's policies. See, of course. See, Joe Biden, since Joe Biden been there, man, it's been all Skittles, all motherfucking Starbursts, all uh, uh, rainbows in, 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 in his cabinet. And he is, he, as soon as he came in, as soon as he put his hand on that big ass Bible, he, he started to turn the tides when it came to freakism, man. <laughs> it says uh, President Joe Biden's administration defended the military activities academy's policy, Salakia, arguing that senior military leaders have long recognized that a scarcity of minority officers can create distrust within the armed forces. Well, you, hey, you still got to get um, qualified people. What's that got to do with the transgenders, man? What's that got to do with, see, these, the, see, the, the, the transgenders, they done jumped all over you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Getting all the rights that you've been fighting for for hundreds of years. Right off the jump. Matter of fact, they're ahead of you. They're taking on the, 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 the you know, the top positions, man. <laughs> it's crazy, man. It says, although black black people which were not black were different shades of um, brown people and we are Israelites you know from our respective tribe or you know if you're a so called black person you would be from the tribe of Judah you would be from the same tribe as Yahweh Shai which the world ignorantly calls Jesus because he's a so called black man today he would be a negro if he was walking the earth right okay so you got it says um, so called blacks make up 22 20.2 percent of the army's active duty enlist personnel only 11% of officers are black, your um, Justice Department said. Hispanic people, and it shouldn't even be that many of you niggas there, man. You shouldn't even be there. Hispanic people constitute 18% of active personnel, but only 9% of officers. White people, by, and of course there's no such thing as white people. They're actually red, pink is the reddish in color. They are Edomites. That's their biblical name. Esau, Edom, Idumians, man. They're Edomites. No such thing as white people. Nobody looks like a glass of milk, man. But it says so-called white people, by contrast, constitute 51.7% of the Army's active duty enlist, enlisted corps and 68% of its officers, the Justice Department said. Of course, because this is their kingdom. This is their kingdom, you know. And Joe Biden, he really, you know what I'm saying, kind of threw um, that Lloyd Austin guy in the mix. You know, as far as being a general, because he got a smorgasbord of freakism going on with his diversity. I'm surprised, you know what I'm saying? He, he didn't put, um, you know, a, a, a transgender, you know what I'm saying, at that position. I guess that might have been a little too much, though. OK, 
Okay, it says, um, the committee's chairman, Glenn Grothman, a Wisconsin Republican, said the hearing was aimed at questioning whether DEI and other progressive programs were hurting the strength of U.S. forces on the battlefield. Our military has one primary function, defend Americans and Americans' interests at home and abroad. At least this was the primary function until Biden administration force-fed pro progressivism into the branches of the armed services. And that's what he done. Hey, Joe Biden, man, that boy, man, that boy done a number on America, man, in these past three years. Well, let me get this, this scripture right here. This is, you know, classic. Because I've done a, a lesson on um, saying, um, well, not the same thing, but you know what I'm saying? It was in a military uh, context as well. It was, I think it was the Daily Mail as well. But, you know, this is a different um, aspect of it, a different, you know, um, hookup on it. But Esau is losing out here, man. Okay, but this is Ecclesiasticus, also known as the Book of Sirach, uh, 25 and 7. It says, there be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy. In the tenth I will utter with my tongue a man that have joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. And that's what we're witnessing. See, we don't have to do nothing. All we got to do is keep on doing these lessons, keep on praying, continue on um, going off into, you know what I'm saying, these, these precepts, man, and bringing these precepts out and keep on chanting down Esau, Edom's kingdom. That's all we got to do. We're waiting on the Lord, man. All we got to do is the work. The Lord is going to do the rest. He's, he, he's, he's already got everything mapped out. All we got to do is continue on doing these lessons, continue on going out on, go on, going out on the highways and byways, and prophesy against Babylon the great man, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man's kingdom all over the world, you know, and, and, and it's about to get crucial. How you think Esau not winning no world, no world war, man, with this shit they got going on here? <laughs> They are least likely to win. First off, you you can't get people to enlist. The people that you do have enlisted, you here you go. L let's get this dude again. Look at this nigga, man. This shit is a, is a shame. Look at this. They was they, they had this nigga doing drag queen shows on the on the ships, man. And you know there's a lot of freakism on them navy ships. But anyway, I just wanted to touch on this for a hot sec, man. Continue on praying. You know, this is another Shabbat. You know what I'm saying? And a new Shabbat. It's uh, Wednesday sundown to Thursday sundown now. This is the new one. You know, it's been somewhat of a 48-hour one. We call it, or I call it, 48 hours. Because we just ended out the last month of Tuesday sundown to Wednesday sundown. Then it went directly into Wednesday sundown to Thursday sundown. So it's been a 48-hour Shabbat. And, and I love those, man, because you actually get to, you know, settle in, rest, do lessons, um, and, and, and just focus, man, on Yahweh B'Hashim Yahweh Shai. It's a lot more focus. It takes discipline as well. You know what I'm saying? See, we're we're, we're going to be ready when when things hit the fan. See, when it comes to a Shabbat, it's a beautiful thing because, you, like I said, you get to rest and you're not so agitated about getting out and about and going to do shit. It settles you in. You get used to being settled in. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I'm going to go and get what I need. You know, I'm going to set up. And I'm just going to be prepared to just chill at the crib if I got the opportunity to do so. Some of us had to go to work, of course, you know, but um, just in general, we're not shopping. We're not buying or selling. You know what I'm saying? It saves you money, really, in reality. I mean, you know, from one aspect. But I mean, it's just generally it's something to focus in on. Like it's, it takes you out of the cares of the world, you know. So with that, hey, I pray that the lesson was edifying, man. Um, hey, Shalom.